Dean Zeithammel very kindly agreed to meet with the press because we got so many requests um, for further questions for him. Um, let me just tell you that Dean Zeithammel is due to leave town. Um, he's going back uh, to Europe today. And um, he's going to be there for a uh, graduation event of some McIntyre students from a program. So we're on a very tight timeline. We've got 30 minutes. And I am going to pass this around so we can um, get your questions on tape. But anyway, I'm going to turn it over to Dean Zeithemmel. Thanks very much for uh, coming again today. And I wanted to just start by saying that uh, um, I have not uh, read everything or seen everything that's on TV, but I, I wanted to compliment the media on, I think, really a, a very, uh, you know, thorough and fair coverage. I know you have to cover some of the more exciting aspects of this uh, particular event, but I, I thought that you did a nice job in, in terms of what the, the limited amount of that I've seen, so I appreciate that. Uh, what I wanted to do today is uh, maybe just start with uh, a little bit of uh, background and then obviously I'll be happy to answer some questions. Um, when I got off the plane on Tuesday night uh, from London, uh, I understood that I was going to be in a unique situation and the, uh, that I was going to be walking a tightrope and uh, that what I needed to be able to do is, is continue to focus uh, on the potential that I would be interim president on August 16th. And what I felt I had to do was to maintain a position where on August, uh, get on August 16th, I was going to be able to uh, work with uh, whoever was uh, on the board, whoever is on the faculty uh, in a leadership role, uh, with my fellow deans, with everybody, uh, really from around grounds. And uh, what I tried to do over the last couple of days is, is reach out to as many people as I could. Uh, yesterday I met with the executive committee of the faculty senate. Uh, I uh, met with the council of chairs in the College of Arts and Sciences. I met with a, a number of other uh, deans and leaders across grounds. And, um, and it was an extraordinary experience. I really um, appreciated all their time. I appreciated the dialogue, and I got a lot from it. Um, and <clears throat> what I, you know, saw really as I uh, worked through the day uh, was that there was um, an extraordinary commitment uh, to this university, an extraordinary commitment that everybody had to trying to do the right thing. And there might be different perspectives on that. Some people. Um, obviously uh, believe that uh, we should move forward uh, with um, you know, the situation as it, as it currently stands with, with me serving as an interim president starting on August 16th. Um, but it was clear to me that there was, as I said in my message this morning, a groundswell of support for the reinstatement of President Sullivan um, and that um, uh, there was uh, considerable passion and considerable commitment uh, behind that. Um, the, uh, this groundswell of support uh, really for her uh, made me realize that uh, I, I needed to um, step back from the situation and I really needed to let um, everybody that was involved in this situation uh, try to work through uh, the many issues that were involved and at the same time uh, that I was starting to think this, uh, I received word that the uh, Board of Visitors uh, is going to meet on uh, Tuesday afternoon to reconsider um, the reinstatement of President Sullivan. And, and that, to me, um, sent a clear signal, uh, once again, that I really should step back from this situation. Um, my uh, you know, bias is usually towards action towards getting engaged, towards getting involved. Uh, but I realized that this was a time that I shouldn't uh, take action, that I shouldn't be uh, out there trying to do the things that I normally try to do. And that um, I really needed to let my colleagues, uh, whether it was on the faculty or the, or the deans or uh, the board of visitors or anybody else, that we really needed to let this uh, work through. And, and so what I've decided to do, as I indicated in the, in the email this morning, 
is to really sort of suspend my uh, activities as the uh, designee to be the interim president, and I want to step back and allow um, the uh, conversation to continue and allow the Board of Visitors uh, to make the decision uh, that uh, uh, I hope uh, that they will make on, on Tuesday afternoon. And, uh, and then um, we will have to see where we are. And uh, if uh, uh, the Board decides to reinstate President Sullivan, I will be very happy to uh, come back to the McIntyre School and work on my syllabus for the fall semester. <laughs> Uh, I will not complain about doing that, and uh, if, the, if the board uh, um, decides not to reinstate the president, and uh, if they want me to be uh, the, the interim president, um, then uh, I will uh, do what I can once again to uh, help to consider the situation and to help whatever, in whatever way I can uh, the University of Virginia to move forward. Um, I understand right now that everybody is trying to do the right thing. I really believe that. I think that there are many well-intentioned people involved in this situation. And I think that the challenge here is to, is to balance uh, the uh, competing views of well-intentioned people. But I believe my role is to step back, um, let the decision be made, um, and then um, next Tuesday night or Wednesday, I'll decide whatever is the, the appropriate role for me, given the circumstances.